No one likes getting a parking ticket. Well, imagine getting several, even though you didn't do anything wrong. A man living in Denver's Baker neighborhood is fed up, so he called Contact 7's Jessica Porter, who went searching for answers. But when I'm getting tickets that's for something that's not my fault and that's out of my control, that's, I can't afford that. Chris Tierney has lived near Denver's Baker neighborhood for years, well before the city added permitted parking. I know them inside and out. <laughs> I know them inside and out. Every single one of them from like within a three block radius. What streets you can park on and what days. He displays his permit clearly in his window, but is still getting tickets. And then I got the second one and I was like, okay, that's a little odd. You know, maybe it's a different officer. And then the third one, I started to like freak out. <laughs> like, I don't think this is going to stop. Tierney was ticketed four times in the last six months. He contacted parking enforcement, but the problem didn't go away. And then she asked for the badge number of that particular officer and said they were going to give them a coaching as well. And then a week later, I got another ticket for the same thing. The signs on the street can be confusing. This one doesn't say anything about parking with a permit. It just warns about street sweeping. But if you walk just half a block away, this sign says that it's required to have a permit to park here. With all the different signs, rules and hours, neighbors say this is frustrating. Katrina Ignacek does not have a permit. She showed me a ticket she got this morning, even though she parked in an area that doesn't require a permit. They told me to allot 30 days to process my dispute but my fine goes up in 30 days. So by disputing it, I have to take the chance either I'm gonna potentially pay nothing or $100 now. And $100 really is like a good part of my paycheck. We contacted the city of Denver and were told the person in charge of that department retired and there was no one to speak to us on camera. They're supposed to scan, look at the back license plate and then they're supposed to take a second look and look in the rearview mirror or on the door to see if there's a, 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 a visible permit. And I feel like that's getting skipped. We will continue to push for answers. Jessica Porter, Denver 7.